morning guys welcome to today's video we got Sophie and the tie-dye here. I think even I want some tie-dye. You Case, can't get the same shirt. I won't get the same shirt, but I love this shirt. If you missed yesterday's video, Sophie got this shirt. And I never realized that part. Got, I love the puffy Watch. sleeves. Oh, I love you, mama. I love you. And what tell, show them the magic. The magic, now that your shirt is covered in black from your dog. Show them the Wait, magic. I want to like this. And do that. Okay. And then it be okay. Dun, da, da, da. Here, turn that way so they can see better. There it is. Looking cute. So they're making shirts with built in masks now. Super cool. Gabby is on her way. And Sam cleaned the barn yesterday. When Sam cleans the barn, it's not the same. So some people wanted to know what Gabby Sophie ended up buying for her jumper stuff. Uh, we decided we're going to look online to find an actual set of stuff. Okay. But wait, you know what everybody's saying? That in actual show jumpers, you can't wear like funky colors. Like everybody at the show had like bright, beautiful colors. They had red, they had blue, they had like all the colors and it was all bright and it was like all a matching set. Everything they had was all matching. But people are saying that in real jumpers, you can't have those things. You can only have like burgundies and blues and yeah, greens. Yeah, that's like a, school, a schooling show. Right, but why wouldn't you like waste your money and buy something that you're gonna use like later? So people said that they liked the Ogilvy pads that you picked with the white, with the color around it. I like the burgundy, the blue, or the pink. Yeah, so anyways, I'm glad we didn't buy anything because now we like heard from you guys and you really helped. Come here. Oh, see, she has to figure it out. Like, oh, it's such a good girl. Roll over, roll all the way, all the way, all the way. Yes, lazy <laughs> girl. Good job. You know, well, we hardly ever show like Molly, Ruby. Ruby's our six-year-old. Spin, spin. No. Oh my gosh, it's not okay if somebody oh, else. Wait. Yeah, so oh. did so did your dog. All right, Ruby, show them what, where it's at. Sit. 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 Down. 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 Sit. Sit. <laughs> Sit. Down. Yeah, that's so funny. It's because it's you. Your dog listens better to you. And the funny thing is, is that the dog can't even listen. She just has to figure it out. Anyways, so uh, this weekend we're taking a break from horse shows and there was a horse show and I messed up and planned something different, but sometimes life has to come before a horse show. I know it's hard to believe. It's a hard thing to accept. It's a hard thing to believe. But this weekend we're missing horse shows. Probably the only weekend for the whole summer we'll miss a horse show. And um, we're gonna do something different, but I hopefully we'll make some fun videos out of what we're doing. She's good. She's a smart dog. Dalmatians are smart. Like, they're almost border collie smart. And to be deaf and to figure things out, you gotta be I don't smart. Know how I taught her that. She likes it. And Ruby's like, well, I used to be the beloved dog. All right. These are horse treats because there's no meat in them because Dalmatians have dietary issues. I'd like to hear from you if you had a Dalmatian Here, I'll video. that didn't have dietary issues. I'll, I'll video. All right. Did you need two hands? Uh, wait. Pa. Pa. Up, down, look up, down. <laughs> roll over, roll over, sit, and lay down. Good girl. Okay, sit. Ha, whoops. Whoops, sit. <laughs> what, you're confused. Come here. Yeah, that's why you don't do roll over and down. Ha, ha. She's like, I should get my treat all right. Mom, that's ha. too much. You give her a treat now. <laughs> I just wanted to see if you could do it all. I've already done that. Show them that one. I know most of you guys have seen this, but in uh, rare... No, I, don't, I don't think you... Oh, I think you've done it once. No, you do it, because I'm not doing it. It should get me dirty. No, no. Huh? You ready? 
<laughs> All right, let's see if I can do that now. Yeah, I, don't care. I know. Molly, come on up. Come on up. Oh! <laughs> That's so fun. Pylon instead of trees. She accepts payments. Of All right, let's go. Let's go, girls. Let's go. is perfect I know yesterday I said that she went crazy hey come on but she's perfect you guys my girl is perfect penny I should have called her a perfect penny except for she doesn't listen sometimes I love my girl you guys I can't wait to ride her again and it's coming soon I can see that she's like stronger and stronger my doctor our vet is gonna give me some strengthening exercises soon to do with her oh, like walking like walking over poles. It's Lysol. You thought my doctor was going to give me Lysol? No, what is it? It's a spray. It's a disinfectant spray to kill germs. Oh. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sophie. She's soaking wet. Yeah, she's soaking wet. That's why my shirt looks like it does now. Oh, no, she's just going to do that. When we first moved to this farm, we had so many of our viewers be like, be like, Laura, you have to be firm with the horses. You have to move your hand in front of their face. You have to tell them no. You have to make them back up. You have to blah, blah, blah. You have to do all this stuff. And I always felt like it was so different than who I was. Like, I'm not an aggressive person. <laughs> Unless I have to be an aggressive person. I started sitting on Jaden. But I don't like to be an aggressive person. And and that was just not me but it was gabby and she learned that like that <laughs> Lex, listen ah sophie you're gonna okay listen all right listen see see there's like all these pitchforks and this one's just as good as just old she wants the brand new one i'm an aggressive person who are you an aggressive person brothers yeah, yeah but you haven't had brothers for years I know, but I had them when I was young and that was old enough to make me become aggressive. Yeah, it's true. I have a picture. One took advantage of my short height when I was a yeah. child. I have a picture. And I was playing with the wrapping paper thing because I don't play with toys. You know that. And he yelled it above my head no matter how hard, yeah. how high I jumped, I couldn't get it. It's true. It's like my uh, middle son was now my, my favorite brother. Kyle's your favorite brother? Yeah. Oh, well, 
So I do have a picture. If I can find it, it'll be hard to find. If I can find it, I'll tell you, show you guys. But um, I do have a picture where she was four and we were wrapping Christmas presents. Four. She was four and my other son was like 20. And actually, probably older than 20. I think he was 18 no, when we were born. No, he was still living with us. No, he was at past college, I think. Anyways, we were wrapping Christmas presents. Yeah, I'm sure he just came home to visit and wrap Christmas presents for his girlfriend. So anyways, uh, I have a picture of her. We're wrapping Christmas presents and you know the tube that comes from the, the wrapping paper? He's holding it above her head like this and she's standing under with her arms up crying her eyes out because she wants the tube. Jumping. Yeah, and she was jumping to try and get it and he had this look on his face like, I will never let you win. And yeah, so I get it. But she just definitely has a different personality than I do. Sophie and I, she's more like... Are you more like your dad? I think she's more like your dad. But anyway. Release the beast. Release the beast. So, the oh my goodness. So anyways, the whole point of my story is this. That people used to say like, you need to be the boss and you need to, to do all these things. And it never was right for me. And even though it's right for Gabby and it might be right for some people, when I be waving my hands in front of my horse's faces and telling them to get out of my space and stuff, my horse does not respond to that. It causes causes anxiety in her. But if I'm kind and I let her know what I want, then she says back to me, okay, I understand. Like, all she wants is to understand, not get in trouble. And I guess that's my whole point. Yeah. There are two different ways to have animals and children. Two different ways. You can raise them or, or own them and use authority to rule them. Or you can use teaching to rule them and I am a teacher I believe in teaching them I don't want to overrule anyone I don't want to squish anybody's personality I don't want to beat anybody down I want them to learn by exploring and being who they are and it's the same with my horse and she has proven that me right and I'm sure that there are horses out there that need a more firmer approach but my horse does not and I love that about her and she loves that about me and even when I put the fly mask on or I let her smell the fly spray I can see that she appreciates that we're gonna show you guys a game no it has to go like this no it doesn't have to go anything any. Okay, so this is Sophie's giant poppet, and I saw this on TikTok. Like everything, we need two dice each. Gabby has all the dice. Oh, Gabby, Gabby is in control of all the one. dice. Everybody pick some dice, but I won't play. It's a two-player game. Two players, no oh, dogs. No, nope, just two. Yeah, it's just two. Just two. This has 24 rows of poppets, and so the so you have to get to the end. So each person has 12 rows. And you have to be the first one to pop all your things. Okay, so roll your dice and I'll show you what to do. Oh, oh, I did not make Okay, do I it, do it on the floor. Do it on the floor. You only need one Can dice. You move your leg? You I got wait, 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 wait. When it's called a die, when yeah, it's like all right. So roll your dice. Okay, so you got six. So you pop six of That's your things. Five. Pop five. Five. Pop five. Start at one end and pop five. All right, now you, you go. Yeah, Actually, can all right, you can use two dice because yeah, otherwise it's going to... Oh, my goodness. Keep Over in this corner of our circus, the day-by-day -day circus, is Lazy 1. And over in this corner is Lazy 2. And ten. over there is no Lazy. 10. Okay, so Gabby got 10. She's going to do 10. All right. Sophie got... Um. Nine. nine. Right, so you do nine. Three, I was gonna say six, four, seven, nine. All right, so, so you do that, you play the whole game until the last person gets, pops their thing. The first person pops their thing. It's just quick math. Gabby, wait, what? We keep going? Yeah. I thought we were taking turns. No, 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 Gabby, wait. Wait, 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 wait Gabby. until she goes. You have to okay, wait. so now you have to wait till she does two turns. And it feels good to do it. I dropped that. This would be such a good game for in a classroom because this is so big and it's pretty versatile. Like it doesn't break easy. And it would teach kids to count, teach kids numbers. 
and it's satisfying. Gabby needs to slow down. Slow you it need down. To slow down. Slow it down. Finally, Gabby needs to slow it down. Usually, it's Sophie. No. Sophie. All right, wait. Who's winning? Oh God, you guys. Great, Sophia. It's neck and neck. They're exactly I'm the same. Funny. Regal, yeah, I see how that makes sense because otherwise it's going to take forever. Sylvie, you only got three. That was a bad roll. I got nine. You got nine. That's not a bad roll. Oh, so Sylvie I won. Oh my, look it. Look it. What the heck? Yeah, you... I, I was a little confused too. Yeah, like it makes you look seem like you're all working to. Money. To, but... Mom, now me and you have to play. All right, so Sylvie got 12. And so I Gabby suck got at 10. games that require luck. Yeah. She didn't even... Wait, did you count these ones? Yeah. Strategy games, I'm better at. Yes. Yeah, strategy games, we luck, are not. I have zero. Oh, I don't oh. know. I think you're pretty lucky. You know You've got a good girl. All right, we are here at the barn, and I brought all these little carrots. Aren't they adorable and perfect for horses? I spy with my little eye a Palomino pony. And then a bay pony right there. Hey, you! Uh-oh. Chino! Oh, Finn heard. Finn! Chino! No! Come here! Chino! Hi, Finny! Storm doesn't stay with them now. It's the weirdest thing. It's like Storm's left them. It's like, it's like Storm doesn't... Storm doesn't think he's, I don't know. It's weird. Gabby says that they know how to tell the days of the week. Storm doesn't come here on Thursdays. Oh, hello. Look, here. Here, Finny. Oh, you're fat, man. Yeah. Look, I grew these I for you. Me. One at a time. Uh oh. <laughs> there you go. Look. One of my carrots fell. Hold on. I brought one for you too. And I also brought one for Storm. The biggest one is for Storm. Hold on. Oh, all right. I'm going to go look for Storm. I'll see you. You okay? You all right? <laughs> it's like, just give me the carrots. Oh, you'll be licking me. I love a licky pony. Yeah. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> I'm going to find Storm. Get off of me. <laughs> All right, he's leaving. All right, he's not leaving, and I've just come to a little river of horse pee. I'm literally trapped. I'm trapped! How am I getting through here, Finn? Listen, no more carrots for you. These are for Storm. Bye. <laughs> I feel sad. I love being able to visit them while they're in the field, but I feel sad when I leave and they're like, oh, he doesn't feel sad, he's gonna eat the hay. Well, that's sad. Storm's not anywhere. I would've had to go walking really far to find him. I will keep his carrots though. I will save them. Oh, I was wrong. I recognize that butt anywhere. I recognize that bum anywhere. Hey, hey, is that Stormy Boy? Hey. I know he doesn't like the sun. That's why I thought he'd be here. Hi, handsome. Hello. Look, I got three carrots for you. That's the biggest one. I grew it. I grew it for you. Two. Oh, Gabby's gonna ride you today. It's your day. It's one of your days. And three. So he's in the shelter with his best friend, you guys. I'll be back, okay? We'll be back for you. Stay here. Stay here, okay? Have a nap in the shelter. Gabby's coming to ride you so you don't get fat. No, we'll be back, okay? Oh, I love you, big handsome man. I do love you. Oh, there we go. I found Stormy Boy. I found Stormy Boy. So if you guys don't know, um, Gabby comes four days a week. What are you? Like it's not on his head. Gabby rides Storm four days in a row and then one day off. Three days flat, one day jumping is how we try and keep it. 
but sometimes it's lessons and sometimes it's not. It's so confusing. Uh, not Storm, Chino. Anyway, she does that because she's trying to build endurance because not this weekend, but next weekend is her next Trillium show. And we're really excited. We're hoping that she, that he feels better and stronger and, and it's harder for us because we have a small arena and the arena there is massive. But anyway, we're here to do her regular flat. Yeah. Chino does have this weird thing, like Chino's a really nice horse, a really perfect horse, a really well behaved horse, never wants to cause anybody problems, never wants to, like he's a nice boy, really nice boy, he wants to lick my hands. Anyways, oh, that's all he does, he only lifts it up. Yeah, so he only does one bad thing, tell them Gabby, tell them. He does a couple. Okay, tell them the one he, bad thing. He, he lifts up his back legs and... Yeah. Like, I'm a kitten, I'm not. I did buy treats for here though because we ran out. So Sophie stayed home today because, uh, you guessed it, her thighs be killing. She's been riding a lot and she's been being really like moving a lot while she's riding. Yeah, I see Chino Bambino. He's like, what do you have for me? The scissors to cut off his scalp. Ew, I can't watch. Remember I told you guys that I've been like messing things up and like being, and being so scatterbrained, you guys, you know? Anyways, so oh, basically, I thought Brandon told me we were booking a lesson for tomorrow afternoon, but we were booking a lesson for today, so he's on his way here. Lucky we came. So I'm asking him if he's riding Finn, and he said Sophie can. He said what? <laughs> uh, he said Sophie can. So I'm just waiting to see, because if he wants to ride, hurry up, you gotta get going. If he wants to ride Finn, like I really want him to ride Finn again do a training ride on him so hopefully he has his stuff in the car i don't know if he does so we just got home at the same time that sam and sophie got home where were you we went to the dollar store sophie waits till any second i'm not in this house and then she talks she's you into good money she has to go to the dollar store yeah i was good i didn't let her buy any candy oh good job dad well, i bought all this stuff for the grandkids this weekend oh for the beach oh one for jake one for jack uh, jack's not coming that's okay. Two boats. Two boats. A uh, small bucket with a bunch of stuff. A water thing. Another buck, a truck. Another bucket so they don't fight. Oh, good lord. And a tube. Oh, that's fun. So, basically, who's the harder, who's the worst person to let go shopping? Sam or Sophie? Uh, Sophie. So guess what happened? What? Brandon wants to lease Storm. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the